Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Pixlr. I know a lot of students are struggling with this. I'm going to show you some advanced things like shading. Uh, first thing we need to do is open our image. Click the Open from Image, navigate to Documents, and Oz Backgrounds. Check to see you are in the right sequence, depending on what block you are in. So I'm going to pick Sequence 17. From here, talk to your group. Make sure you know which one you're picking. If you've already started and you've already saved, it should be saved in here. If someone deleted it, make sure that you're saving it to your drive every single time. So let's go with this one. All right, great. First thing we want to do is get our paintbrush, sorry, our paint bucket. Select the color we want. If you need a kind of a brownish tone, you can always drag it to the middle. What a lot of people are struggling with is painting something and it bleeding through and going to other parts. So I'm going to show you just this inside part. I want the inside part here to be, let's say, yellow. And this outside part, I don't want yellow. I want that a darker color of brown. Command Z whenever you don't want something to happen. Like this command Z you can also notice over here the history is showing you everything you've done let's do it it's the same as doing a command V all right before I paint this inside one I'm gonna fill those holes zooming in close the keyboard shortcut for this is Z and the keyboard shortcut for the hand tool which just moves around is holding down the space bar so Z to zoom, spacebar to use the hand tool, get as close as possible. We are looking for holes. I'm definitely seeing one, two, three, four. I use my pencil tool. It doesn't matter what color I'm in. I'm just going to fill that hole. Fill this hole. Yikes. Fill this hole and fill this hole back to my paint bucket and test it perfect if I missed one of these holes it would still fill up sometimes it might have five or ten holes it's um, it's very tricky but with a little bit of patience it's gonna look great Boom. all right so I quickly colored my door here um, and it looks pretty good uh, if you're looking for a 3 out of 4 on this assignment, you can just color the whole picture like that just by using the fill bucket tool, the paint bucket. Um, if you want that 4 out of 4, I want you to try some shading. And I'm going to show you how to do a few tricks with shading. You will shade with the brush tool. I like to move my brush size up pretty big to about 200. That's the size it's going to be. Okay it out there. I'm going to turn the opacity down to 10 or less. Let's try about 8. And I'm going to turn the color to black because shadows are dark. They're black. When I collect that, you can barely see it, and that's actually what we want. If we want this very, very dark, I can go over it a few times. Remember, opacity means if you can see through something. So if it's a very low opacity, then we can see through it pretty well. So I've tested it out. That looks pretty good. I'll show you how to color. Let's say just <coughs> the edge of this door. So back to my paint bucket tool. Let's get this the dark brown we were using. Great. Now let's make it darker a little. Darker there and down here where we see those lines. That means shadow. Got my brush tool already set up. You can see it's getting a little darker. I'll go over over a few times. But right now it's kind of bleeding over the edges. So I don't want that. I want just to color over there. I also forgot to turn it to black. The second trick I'm going to show you, and this is going to help a lot, is the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool picks any color and selects that color. If you see this kind of a line we call it marching ants that means 
whatever's inside is what we can do. We can do something to the outside and nothing is going to happen. So let me show you. The brush tool here, I can click. I'm doing something and nothing's happening. But when I go inside, you can barely see it, but it is starting to shade just inside. So I can do this to get very accurate and very easy coloring. So now I've shaded that. To kind of see how that worked, I can select something else and check it out. Yep, that's great. If I want to select nothing, if I want to go back how it was, the marquee tool, this also selects things. You can just click once to get off of that. Now nothing is selected. I can check that. Great, that looks perfect. Let's try one more time and shade this yellow part. Click the brush tool. It's already set up to where we had it. Let's make this inside part a little darker. Great, looks pretty good. One other thing you can do that might save a little time is on the wand tool, you can unclick contigu contiguous. Contiguous means uh, connected. So this yellow color, if that is not clicked, it's going to select everything that's that yellow color in this part. I already shaded, so it didn't select that. No big deal. Let's go back to my brush tool. Shade some more here. Shade a little more here. A little bit on the, br the handle there. Great. I'm doing this really quick. You can take your time to make it look a little better. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Not perfect, but it's a little bit of shading. That's about all you need to do to get that for. Is shade, pick a few things to put a little shading on and uh, ask me if you need a little help. Uh, this is going to be due next week. Alright, thank you.